for another Worship Center Kids Sunday. Aren't you excited? You know, these past few weeks, we have been learning about worship. I love learning about the different ways that we can worship. Who knew that there were so many different ways? There's giving, there's singing, there's dancing, there's um, obedience. That's what we're learning about today. We're learning about obedience. Well, that sounds pretty simple, right? Yeah. Obedience isn't always easy. You know, um, we never experience the great things God has for us unless we learn to obey him. Think about how being obedient to your parents affects you. What if they ask you to clean your room and you put it off and put it off and don't do it? Well, if you would have cleaned your room, you would have gotten to go get an ice cream after dinner. Now that you were not obedient and didn't go clean your room, you not only have to spend the evening cleaning your room, but now you've missed out on a sweet treat and spending time with your family. Obedience is not always easy. When we obey our parents, we're showing respect to them and that what they have to say is important. I know it's not always easy. A lot of times being obedient is sometimes is doing what you don't want to do. You know, it's the same with God. Whenever we obey what he tells us, that means that we are showing respect to him and actually worshiping him for who he is. You know, we have a pretty cool story about obedience in the Bible today. And we're going to find it all the way at the beginning of the book in Genesis in chapter 12. And let me tell you what it has to say about obedience. A man by the name of Abram, not Abraham. He wasn't Abraham yet. He was just Abram. A man by the name of Abram was living in, get this, the city of Haran. No, he didn't live here, but he lived in a place over in Israel called Haran. Yeah, kind of cool, huh? And he heard God telling him that it was time to move. Now, if God tells you something, do you think that maybe you should listen and be obedient? Yeah, well, he knew it was time to pack up his family and move. Now, let me tell you how this was not easy for him. Family was everything in the Bible. They always stuck together. They always lived together. And God was now telling Abram it was time to pack up and move. Abram was 75 years old when God told him to do that. That would be pretty hard to pack up and move away from everything that you knew everything that you were familiar with and pack up and move plus add being 75 years old i mean you weren't a young guy anymore you but god was wanting him to obey abram trusted god that was simple he trusted god even though it was hard he packed up everything and he headed towards canaan you see we worship God when we obey him. And Abram was being obedient to God by doing what he asked. You know, I think it probably would have been hard for him to move his wife and his nephew. He moved them, his nephew named Lot. But God knew that he was going to need some encouragement along the way. And he actually gave him a promise. He said, let me read it. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. You and your family will be blessed. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you. And all the people of the earth will be blessed by you. What a promise. 
That is one amazing promise that God gave Abram, all because he was obedient. So Abram knew that God would follow through on his promise, and he knew that if he was obedient, God would follow through. God also said that the whole world would be blessed because of Abram's family. The whole world. You see, Abram was already 75 years old, and they didn't have any children of their own. But he knew that if God made a promise, it was going to happen. So Abram was obedient to God. He knew he could trust God's plan. So when they arrived at Canaan, Abram built an altar to worship God and to thank him for helping them to get finish their journey safely. God told Abram to lift up his eyes and to look at all the area around him. Everything Abram could see, God was giving him, all because of being obedient. God said, he said that Abram's family would be so large that you couldn't even count his family. Now, he was 75 years old and hadn't had any children. But God was saying that Abram's family was going to be so large that you couldn't even count them. All because Abram was obedient. Abram was obedient to God and he moved away from his family and everything that was familiar and his uncles and his cousins and the land that he knew well. But by being obedient, God blessed him with more. More land, more livestock, more family. So much that you couldn't even count. When we're obedient to God, he will bless us too. Sometimes obedience might not be so easy, just like it wasn't for Abram, but it will totally be worth it. So let's take a look at this object lesson today. Now I have me a big tub here, as you can see. All right, and I have some water here. Now this water is the word of God. And I have some utensils over here, right? And so like I have this funnel. So when we come to church, we can read our Bibles, we can pray, but we need to be obedient to the word of God. So we have to know what it has to say. But are we like this funnel? And whenever we take in the word of God, it runs right through us. There's not anything left in there. It runs right through us. Nothing sticks. Maybe that's coming to church and just sitting and not really paying attention or not using what you learned after you leave. That's what people who are like these funnels do. But what about somebody who's like this little colander here? What about this? Well, the Word of God runs right through, but if you look, there's a little bit that's still in there. That's good. Some of it has been held on to. But what happens whenever a bad time comes? Maybe you do something and get in trouble, and all of those promises that you knew that God had said in His Word, they're shaken out of you, and then nothing's left. I don't want to be like that either. But then, what about this sponge? Whenever this sponge comes in contact with the Word of God, do you see any water flowing out? No. It is soaking in everything that is being offered. When, it re when you read the Bible, you pay attention to what it has to say and you do what it says. When you pray, you listen for God's voice and you do what he tells you to do. Now, what happens though, whenever you have been obedient and soaked up everything of God's word, you get to a point where you can't soak up anymore. You get so full of God that you can't take any more in. 
And do you know what it's time to do? It's time to go and encourage. It's time to go and share God's love. It's time to go and be the church to, to those in need. And then that allows you to have more room to soak up more of God's word. How cool is obedience? Obedience, although it might be hard sometimes, think of the blessings that come with obedience. Abram and his family were definitely recipients of that. I cannot wait to talk to you more about worship and talk to you about how you have worshiped this week. Let me know in the comments, how are you going to worship? Are you going to worship through obedience this week? Are you going to worship through giving? What about dancing and singing? How are you going to worship God? Because let me tell you, if we worship God, you can just stand back and watch the blessings flow. Bye, guys.